In today's video, we're going to be covering the perfection loop. Is this the perfect knot? Today we'll find out, and I'll be showing you four ways to tie it. So is the perfection loop the perfect knot? Is it the knot to end all knots? Is it so perfect it'll be the last knot you need to know? Will it bring you joy and happiness? No. Well, maybe. But it sure is a handy knot to have around the campsite. Hi, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures. And we produce videos all about camping. You know, whether you're into tent camping or RV camping, our goal is to help you have a much more fun outdoor experience. Whether you're just getting started or you'd like to go camping more often, there's so much fun to be had out there. And we hope our videos can help you do that. You know, if you like the video today, just give us a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if we've given you some value. So here we go. Hi, in today's video, we're going to be covering four ways to tie the perfection loop. You know, one of the things I'm going to be doing a little bit differently in this video is showing it to you through a different perspective. People learn differently, and I hope one of the perspectives will help it click for you. Stick around till the very end. I think I may have found a solution to the perfection knot's flaw. Yes, the perfection loop has a flaw. So why don't we get started tying the perfection loop? You know, I'm going to be showing you four ways to tie it. Well, what the perfection loop is, is a fixed loop knot. Anytime you use a bowline or an alpine butterfly or a figure eight loop knot, you may be able to substitute this knot, the perfection loop, for those. It's an easy knot to tie and if I show you how you may decide that this is actually in some situations better than those other fixed loop knots. Now this knot can be tied at the end of the line or you can tie a perfection loop in the middle of the line. So why don't we get started? So the first way we're going to be tying the perfection loop is probably not the way that you would tie it but I'm going to be showing it to you laid out on the table so you can kind of see what's going on and then when you pick it up in your hands you may want to tie it one of the other ways. Maybe a better way to picture this is to actually look at it from this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop and our working end is going to go underneath that. Let's make that just a little bit bigger of a loop. Now we've got our working end coming around and it's going underneath the standing end. Now we're going to create another loop where we're going to come around and we're going to go over the top of this loop but we'll go back underneath the standing end there. Okay. Now to finish the knot what we're going to do is just take our free end and we'll bring that right between the two loops. So our first loop, our second loop, and then our working end goes right between those two. Now it's just a piece of cake to finish this knot. We're going to go underneath the big loop. We're going to grab this second loop and we're going to pull underneath. And as we tighten, remember as we tighten this up, if we pull on one side, it'll tighten the knot. If we pull on the other side, it'll make the loop bigger. And it's how we do that that kind of balances it out so that we end up with a perfectly tied perfection loop. Okay, the second way to tie the perfection loop, and this one is really easy to tie, that's the standing end facing that way. This is the working end facing this way. So with the standing end away from you, all you have to do is run the line right down the middle of your hand. So right here on the crease of your hand. We're going to make our next loop and we're going to bring this one over way back here by the palm. We'll take our next loop around and we're going to bring that one between the two. So we've got the first time around, second time around, third time around. Simple enough to finish this knot. Just pull that one up a little bit so you can reach underneath. Cross over this one. Grab that one. Take your hand, grab the standing end, just tighten that up, and there we have the perfection loop. Hi, just a little bit of trivia about this knot. 
This knot is also known as the angler's loop. Fishermen use this knot. They'll tie it at the end of their fishing line and use it as a really quick and convenient way to switch out leaders. This next method is my favorite way of tying it. It's the quickest I find when you just need a good fixed loop knot at the end of your um, rope. So the way to tie this knot is we're going to take our working end and make a loop, bringing our loop, our working end behind our standing end. Then what we're going to do is continuing the same direction of rotation, we'll bring it back over the top towards us. We'll make one loop and we'll do it again. We'll make now two loops over that. The way to finish the knot is reach underneath, grab that one, and just pull that through. So what we do is kind of balance that out until we've tied a perfect perfection loop. Now if you're actually camping and in the real world, it's, you don't just usually have fixed loops at the end of lines and that that's good enough. What you're usually doing is needing your fixed loop attached to something something like this and we're going to use this to demonstrate that today. Simple enough to do, all you need to do is create an overhand knot. So there's my overhand knot. Now what we're going to do is I want to flip it so that my working end is coming out the back side and away from me. What we'll do then is we'll go around through our item and I'm going to just switch my hands. We're going to come back up through, coming in from the same way I went in the first time. So both are going into my overhand knot the same way. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to get a little more slack right there. We're going to take our working end behind our standing end. Working end, standing end. Now what we're going to do is go locate the same two that go around our item. We're going to pull those through and create a little bit of space right there. Now I'm going to slide my working end between this and the space we just created and we'll just pull that tight and we have a perfection loop tied around something. So the one flaw that we can find, and this is where people have got, had some frustration with the perfection loop, is that if it's had a great load put on it, if there's a lot of tension, they find that it's very difficult to untie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little tip that you can use to make untying the perfection loop just a little bit easier. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use that, that earlier method that I showed you that's my favorite, the really quick way, where we'll take the, make a loop, and we'll create two other loops. But on this last one, instead of bringing the whole thing through, I'm just going to bring across the loop. Now what we'll do is we'll come underneath, and as we tighten everything, we now have a perfect, well, a perfect perfection loop. And so you can see what I've tied is a perfection loop and instead of bringing this working end all the way through, I've only brought the loop through. Now what makes that nice is even after it's had a considerable load put on it, all you have to do to untie that knot is just grab the free end and the standing end and just give it a tug and it's loose. So, so as I showed you before, a lot of times when camping, you need to have your perfection loop or your fixed loop around something. In this case, it's this right here, representing the corner of our tent or our awning. So what we're going to do is start with our overhand knot. Once again, we're going to have the working end going out away from us. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit more tail this time. Now I'm going to take it, go through my item, go back into my overhand loop the same way. Now I've got my working end going in the same way and coming out the same way. So we're going to go around behind. Now we will separate those two, the same two that are going around our item. We just want to grab those two and create a space. Now this time, what I want you to do is not put the whole loop through. Just slide part of it through so that when we tighten, 
we now have a slipped perfection loop. All right? So now when we want to finish this and get it undone, all we have to do is give it a tug. That loosens that. Now all we really have is an overhand knot that we need to just undo that. Undo that. So if you liked the video today and you found some value in it, please give us a big thumbs up. And be sure to hit the subscribe button down there in the corner so you don't miss any of the other videos that we put out that provide you with some camping tip, tricks, tip, tricks, and hacks. Easy for me to say, right? So until the next time, we'll see you on the next adventure.